Alright, MBG back with uh, Thomas Reedy, Thomas Goatboy Reedy here with a video review of the uh, Necron Doom Scythe slash Night Scythe. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying you like this kit, huh? I, I like it. It's pretty big. Um, it's like a Necron's got a convertible, so I guess he's having his uh, midlife crisis flying around uh, trying to pick up chicks. With the top down. What is it? What's that one uh, from Star Wars? Uh, you can go 30 parsecs or something like that? Or, yeah. <laughs> is it Kessel Run? Kessel Run. Parsecs? Yeah, Kessel Run. That's what he's trying to do. Yep. Pick up chicks. Um, but there's a kit. It's pretty, uh, as you can tell, it's a moon thing. <laughs> that's no moon. That's a, that's a crescent moon thing. That's a, that's a Necron thing on there. Uh, he's got a little, little, little ball that he controls with, you know, kind of like, um, what's that stupid game with the golf game you get in bars? Oh, Golden Tee? Yeah, he, he, he's, just, he, he's just playing Golden Tee all day. That's yeah. all it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm surfing Facebook. Yeah, for, surfing Facebook. I uh, get, or Facebooks, or, uh, Necron, because I flip it over and then correctly. Um. It's okay. There's the back end of it. You can see it has some pictures on it. It has, like, you know, those lovely Teslas. Uh, and then with the Doom, Doomy thingy. What is that? The Doom? Death Ray. Death Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one thing that'll shoot you once, and then you'll never let it shoot you again. <laughs> like, it does what? That's a line, and a what? Oh. Yeah, then, then then you slap the guy, and you never let him shoot it again. Uh-uh. Um, you can see where it's little, uh, portal. little portal over there. Apparently, there's two ways to assemble that. You can have the portal, not the portal. So that, what does that mean? That's a bit. <laughs> oh. Wait, I know this guy. You know this guy who does bits? I don't know who this is. <laughs> um, let's open this up. Look at this white paper instruction manual. Um, you could probably guess how it goes together. It's called uh, glue the top to the bottom. And then the armor the armor top plate. It's like some crescents and some crescents make a scythe. Yep, and then it, then then it's pretty much guns. Yeah, put some weapons. I like this uh, right here in the corner, the, the different ways to assemble the, the portal. Like you can put the, the little swirly wormhole thing or just like the standalone. That might be neat to like just set up, just have a dude carrying around like a boom box or something. Oh yeah. And you can tell, <laughs> I mean, it's it's probably of the kit, is definitely the easiest of the kit. But uh, I mean, you got to think of this way, that this kit is a, uh, as long as being a big flyer, it's also a troop transport. Yeah. So you're probably going to see a lot of these. So making an easier kit, just like the Rhino takes no time to put together, same type of thing snap with this. Snap together almost. Yeah, yeah, snap together, it'll hold good. Some of the treads. Yeah, so, shoot, screw those treads. Yeah. Um, so look, look, it's big. Look, it looks like a... It's pretty big. Yeah, it's, it is not a small, small mm-hmm. little kit. Like, this thing is not hiding, um, unless you have floating terrain that's exactly the, <laughs> the height size the on it. Uh, so this, you don't see the stem at all. Um, it's pretty neat. It has a little crab, it looks like a little crab kind of set up on here. I, I think it looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It has a lot of nice, um, overall flat. You see a lot of inlay designs, so you can sit there and edge it and everything else on there and do your design set. So it's pretty, pretty neat looking kit. Here's the, uh, second sprue, which, I mean, that's it. It's just two sprues. It's yeah, pretty basic. two sprues again. Again, like I said, you know, it's, it's, I see this as a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, a troop transport, so you got to really limit the kind of setup on it. Look at those big guns. we all seen those before. I think those are the same ones that are on the command barge. Yeah, I think it's the exact same they, ones. They look very similar. Yeah, they look the exact same. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of, kind of setup. You can see that little the little uh, swirl thing. <laughs> the swirly. Which, I mean, if you trim off this stuff, you could be like some kind of weird uh, chaos uh, warp gate thing. or um, Dark Eldar, warp portal. Dark, warp portal, starting a warp portal. Or some orc weird boy thing. Something like I mean, lots of stuff. This is pretty neat. Like the eye stuff on there is pretty neat. Like this eye thing right here is pretty neat. There's going to be a lot of way to do a lot of glow effect and everything else on there. Yep. Glow effect coming to you now since, you know, whatever. Necron's all glow. <laughs> uh, and then How did they sneak up on us, sir? I don't know, sir. <laughs> they just do. They, just, they turn it off. Yeah, that's what it is. Stealth mode. Yeah, stealth mode. But they, they, get, they turn it on when they get near people because they get aroused because they got feelings now. No, it, yeah, it wouldn't be honorable if they, if they turn it off and snuck up on people. They yeah. have to declare rights of battle now. They have to declare rights of battle. And yeah. I, I think it's because they get attracted to people. Oh, is they that it? It. Yeah, so it's like a big robot <laughs> thing. So it's like them getting aroused and glowy. Um, <laughs> what are these? Little, uh, little I, capture crawl things? I guess mounts that's mounts underneath no, the bottom. Um, I mean, oh, it's for the gun. Oh, gun mounts. Yeah, this little side uh, thing. Oh, right, for the Doom Ray. Oh, Doom Ray. Okay, I see. That Doom Ray is pretty cool. I want to. Yeah, I, w- I want to get one and loot it for an orc, because uh, it would be, be ridiculous to drive around with one. I have a gun. Well, I have a, I have a looted uh, Necron, taken Necron Destroyer Lord Luda. Mm-hmm. Uh, the most expensive Luda I have. <laughs> uh, that's someone gave me the bit. So I like to steal more Necron stuff because it makes no sense for them to have. But yeah, it's a pretty. I mean, it's a pretty neat kit. I like this. Is the one I like the. Uh, the uh, second most out of the flyers for by for sure because I think the design's pretty cool. Yeah, um, very you're gonna, smooth. Very, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see a ton of them because I think uh, night sights are actually pretty good for Necrons being able to uh, 
get across the board and just be full of nonsense. Um, I hope Supersonic changes stuff. I hope Supersonic is uh, the idea that they need sixes to hit them, or you have to be a certain range to hit them, you know. Like Kind of like a, a faux flyer, like 12 inch, you know, minimum, uh, negative 12 inch to your range and such. Which which is what I'm thinking is probably going to be. That just makes mm -hmm. the most sense, because it's, these, all these kits are, um, you would say about 30 to 40 points more than they probably should be, according to what, you know. Yeah, it does seem set. that way. It does seem that way. Because the DACA jet, or the DACA guy, is probably about, you know. 30, you know, 30 points more should start, it should start around 80 points as you start adding, so it should be under 100. Um, the Storm Talon's about 30 points over high, because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's better than a, um, a, uh, land speeder, but still not as, um, copyright not, 2011. Okay. Yeah, 2011. So they've had it for a little while, at least. Oh, yeah, you know they've had these kits for a while. Yeah. Well, it's like that one Shereen piece they came out with, like, a couple years back. And the copyrights on it was like 2006. Like, oh, <laughs> you've been holding on to that for a while. Um, I, I hope so. I mean, like I said, I have high hopes for 6. I think 6 is going to be uh, a nice, fun, different game. Uh, and by the sounds like this, we're hopefully going to nerf the crap out of uh, Grey Knights. We only got one minute left on the battery. So we got to sign oh. off here. I'm MBG Rob Bear, and this is... Uh, this is Goat Boy. <laughs> thanks for watching our video, and uh, enjoy the new Aerial Assault Weekend of Flyers. Hey, guys. MBG here with the uh, first look unboxing at the... Uh, the new Orc Bomber uh, with the three different kits inside, and we have a we have a special guest today. We have Thomas, aka Goat, Goat Boy Reedy, <laughs> the sweetheart of 40K, here with us, and uh, this is his this is his favorite. So we're gonna let him talk a little bit about it. Hey, uh, this is the of, of all three kits. This is what would seem to be my favorite one. Uh, I feel you probably get a lot more out of it than a lot of the other ones because you got all three options in it. Um, as you see, the art's pretty cool in the back. Uh, it shows the. Uh, Get upside down. That's I think the uh, burner bomb. I think right back here, or that's the burner. Yeah, I don't see, remember. You pick, you pick it up and you go like this. You're like, hey, I'm an American. Oh, there it is. You know what? I flip the way I want to flip it. I do what I want. <laughs> so let's open this up and look at it. Um, by far, it seems to be the one with the most sprues. All of, the, all of them. It has three, which is pretty nuts. I mean, look at this. Look at that fuselage on there. It's pretty, pretty huge. Um, lots of interesting options all over it. Guns. Uh, every every options in here. Uh, the interesting thing is if you look at the wings. It is one set of wings, but they have uh, ways that you lock it in, and it moves the wing, and so it can kind of completely change its shape, which is a uh, pretty interesting uh, design set. It's something a lot more, um, looks like on the CAD stuff, their design's getting really, really interesting on how they kind of build stuff out. But overall, I mean, the kit looks, looks great. And look at how many bombs you have on there. Can't you see an orc just chunking that somewhere? I mean, that's, that's really the best. Grot, grot carrying it. Yeah. <laughs> I like these little missiles right here because it's a one solid missile piece, so it's not two pieces. So. Pull, pull it there you yeah, so you can see it's like it's one uh, one solid uh, missile piece right over there, um, which would be great for uh, when you do tank busters or rocket boys because you can use that at the edge of a, a gun set. So, I mean, overall, I find this kit to be, you know, actually a, a pretty pretty damn good value on it. So it's just, just how much stuff is on here. Yeah, it's three uh, solid screws or stuff. Three, I mean, it's three shall do that, you know, whatever the price set on it. So that's actually really good. 50 or something. Yeah, so definitely, uh, definitely I think it's um, a cool kit. Uh, you get a flight stand with it in base. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> hey, let's take a closer look yeah. at some stuff here. This is, uh, here's the instructions. I'll try to show this sometimes. Uh, there's the three different variants of it, basically. So you can, and you can see, let's see, let me pull that up a little bit. All right, so there's the, there's the piece that's going to make, that's going to make your wings cantered. Because you got your intake there, and then you got this uh, extra like uh, shooter shooter piece that isn't on these that makes it basically these go straight out. So you can change it there, and you got some different turret options. Let's take a look. Um, so here's the uh, this right here is those pieces I was talking about that are gonna make your uh, gonna make your wings cantered a bit. Um, and then on this, these are these are actual wings right here, but there's these insert pieces which give it kind of a different profile right here at the top and they're bomb racks for the for the missiles basically so it breaks up the profile a little bit for the different different kinds of jets um, and there was what is it oh yeah here's the uh, now this is this is kinda neat this is the this is the piece that attaches to the fuselage the wings attached to first and if you notice like they're pretty solid chunks so you put these together A and B two halves and then basically your wing your wing attaches onto the top of that well, which would be the side. But what I'm thinking is, you know, you could cut these down, put them together, and put a wing on it, and basically attach it to anything orky. You know, like anything you want. You can make, you could put the two wings together and just make like a flying bomb or something. You know. So there's a lot of different opportunities with this kit, and a lot of different turrets and things. Here's the uh, 
here's the different glasses. Let's see. Let me see there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a different uh different glasses and things. Your uh <laughs> your bug screen one and then you got your fully fully canopied and your turret, so I don't know. You got any other ideas about this kit? I, I like I said, I'm I'm planning on getting three. So I think uh, <laughs> I, it was it was the best looking of the kit uh, from what I saw. It looked like it had a. It makes you hope that we see more orc stuff later. Um, something because I mean, oh, there's this too. Or uh, the idea of the uh, you new, know uh, new decal sheet. Oh yeah, that is a new one. Yeah, and it's uh the the, the oh. glyphs and everything are uh, like wing shaped. That's actually neat. that's actually really cool on that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully we'll see a war buggy. I mean, that's the one mm -hmm. thing we were waiting for. And if, can you imagine a, a buggy kit that's like three different things in it and fully uh, modded out and uh, kittable out would be great. As long as so. it's not a, not the same size as a truck. No, <laughs> it needs to be a little, a little smaller. Bit, a little smaller. I was kind of disappointed with the battle wagon. I won't I won't joke. I was I was mad about the battle wagon being as small as it was. Um, I, I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, just because. But the problem I have is that it's too damn long. <laughs> Yeah, but and everyone made them out of a Land Raiders, uh, seventy five dollars now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think, I mean, this is definitely a step in the right direction, kit wise. Yeah, I think so. Definitely a good kit. Well, there you have it. There's our uh, there's our video review of the uh, Orky one, the new Orky Bomber, and uh, we'll get some other ones done here in a Ricky Tick and uh, get them on up for you at the Storm Talon and the Nightside. So I'm MBG Rob Bear and Goat Boys right here, Sweetheart Forty K. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Spiky bits.